Today, we're talking about five actions you can take to dominate in Q4. For over 20 years, I've dedicated my life to bringing you the very best selling, marketing, and business building strategies to keep your business thriving. Get ready to experience the success you've been searching for. Welcome to The Tom Ferry Show. Hey, welcome to The Tom Ferry Show. Today, I wanna talk to you about five actions you can take to not only make sure you crush and dominate Q4, but more importantly, you set the tone for 2018 while having an amazing time in terms of holidays with the people that you love. So let's jump right into it. The five things I'm gonna ask you to do. Number one is make a decision. Now, ready? Make a decision about what you want your business to look like on January 1st, 2018. Meaning, how many escrows or pending sales do you want on the first day of the new year? How many active listings do you want on the first day of the new year? How big do you want your pipeline of great potential sellers ready to go live, buyers that are ready to buy, that took their time through the holidays and enjoyed themselves, but now they're serious. So if I asked you to decide, what do you want it to look like on January 1st, what would you say? Again, how many pendings do you wanna have? How many active listings do you wanna have? On January 1st, 2018, how many leads in your pipeline, buyers that are ready to buy and sellers that are ready to sell, what do you want it to look like? The moment you decide, my friends, immediately you begin to align your behaviors around what it's going to take to realize that goal. So, number two is I want you to put in your schedule all of the joy, the fun, the holidays, the family time, the trips, the things that you wanna do that, you know, look, at the end of the day, we run our businesses, not so we can just work, 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 but we can have a life and business by design. So I'm gonna ask you to open up your calendar, whatever that looks like. Maybe it's a big visual calendar you got on your wall, a dry erase board, and you're literally gonna say, I'm taking those four days off. I'm taking this weekend off. I'm taking this week off. I'm gonna go snowboarding here. I'm gonna go see family here. And you mark everything off in advance. And if you're smart and you gotta travel, you pay for it today so it's set in stone. By the way, side note, what happens when you buy your tickets, pay for your hotels, get it all organized? You know what happens. Your business goes through the roof, buyers wanna buy, sellers wanna sell, that's what happens. So there's an important strategy here. It's not just get it in your calendar, pay for what you gotta pay for, get it done in advance, because we all know what happens to your sales momentum, it goes through the roof. The big point though is, get it in your schedule. If it's not in your schedule, it doesn't exist. I want you to have an amazing fourth quarter not just in your business, but in your personal life as well. So the holiday parties, everything is in your calendar, everything is set in stone, all your shopping, whatever you and your family do and your friends do for traditions, everything is in the calendar. Then you can say, leaving me with this many days to go achieve the results I want, so on January 1st, my business looks exactly as I want it to be. Number three, I want you to set three goals. So you know know me, goals have to be Smart, right? Specific, measurable, actionable, right? You know what I'm talking about? They gotta be up and visual. I want three goals. So in a perfect world, maybe I've got a whiteboard like this and I'm gonna write down, this is how many appointments I wanna book between now and the end of the year. This is how many appointments I wanna book. The next one is, this is how many listings I wanna take between now and the end of the year. And the last one is how many sales I wanna make between now and the end of the year. Now I'm a big fan if I wanna, let's say, book 50 appointments, 20 appointments, 5,000 appointments, whatever your number is, I wanna be able to cross off one, two, three, four, all the way to 25, got it, got it, got it, got it, so it's up and it's visual and I'm tracking and I'm measuring so I know exactly where I stand. At the end of the day, my friends, you've heard us talk about the five disciplines of execution, the importance of visual scoreboarding and measuring your success. I always give the same example. If you went to a football game or a basketball game and they turned the time clock off and they removed the scoreboard, how much fun would that be to watch? You'd be like, look at all these you know, guys and gals just running around smacking on each other. But with, with the time clock saying, I've only got this many days between now and the end of the year, you get a sense of urgency. If I see the score, I've only booked this many, you get a sense of urgency. And that's a good thing for you and I as entrepreneurs and salespeople. So, Set your three goals, you can have four, you can have five. Those are the three I'd like to see if I walked inside your office. Let's look at number four. Number four is, 
I want you to de develop a simple fourth quarter into January. So, you know, call it fourth quarter plus January. What is your marketing and communication plan? So imagine this, let's say you and I are working together and I say to you, all right, do you like your past clients? Yeah, do you like getting referrals? Yes. Yeah. so what are three things you can do for all the people inside your database in the fourth quarter that's gonna create that connection you want, referability that you want, right? You're loving on them, you're showing gratitude, what is it? I've had clients that have literally said, I'm gonna throw a holiday party in the fourth quarter. Wonderful idea, if that resonates for you. Getting all the people that you've worked with together, getting all of your partners together, your lender, your title rep, your, you know, your closing attorney, all the people involved in the transaction, to love on all those people that have supported you and you've supported them in your business. That's an idea. A simple, fun one that a lot of our clients have done, what if you took and did a mega open house, but in this case, you let your farm know, you let your database know, you let everybody know that Santa's gonna be there doing photos. Could you imagine having your own photographer snapping photos and people are registering with their email and their cell phone and information and maybe asking you a few questions to get those copies? Listen, I see it every holiday season. You go to the malls and you see these things everywhere. Why not take the best of what's going on there in the holiday season and marry it with your business, a mega open house, just as another example. What about your geographic farm? What are you gonna do to educate them, inform them, let them know what's going on, what's happening with home prices, what's happening with the trends? Should they be trying to sell in the fourth quarter? Should they be waiting till January, February, March? You're the knowledge broker. Don't keep your wisdom a secret. What's your marketing plan for obviously the fourth quarter, all the way through January. Get it up, get it visual, and get in action. And then of course, the last one, number five. And one of my favorites, um, there's a stat, and I don't wanna misquote it, so you should Google this. Um, there's all these stats that say that the average person puts on 10 pounds during the holidays, right? The average person puts on 10. Now, what's a scary thought is if that's what the average person does, that means some are putting on 15 or 20. That's a frightening thought. Now listen, you know, you wanna go have fun with your friends, you wanna go have fun with your family, you wanna have, you know, those big, great, you know, healthy, exciting, wonderful meals, you know, pie and whatever else. Here's my question for you. How do you then feel on January 1st when you wake up and mentally you're not right, physically you're feeling a little bloated, a little overweight, you know, a little like I ate a little too much, like all the clothes are tight. Like in that state of mind, do you feel like unstoppable? I can't wait to see over the world. I can't wait to race into the new year. Or do you, like most people, start the new year with a new commitment, I'm gonna to go to the gym every single day and I'm gonna lose all the weight and yada yada. Well, I got a little thought for you. For the last decade, I've been saying to all my clients, why don't you take off 10 pounds during the holidays? Why don't you be the kind of person that can show the discipline to lose weight, to get in better physical condition, to stretch more, to exercise more, to read more, to become more at the time when everybody else lets their guard down. Now. I, I know it might be contrarian for a lot of people. Well, Tom, it's the holidays and I've worked so hard and I want to party and have a good time. Hey, I get it. I get it. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever woken up on the first day of the new year feeling a little sluggish, feeling a little overweight, feeling like maybe you kind of were a little too excessive in some of your behaviors? If you've ever experienced that before, why not this year contrast it with the opposite? Why not wake up early, feeling great, feeling physically and mentally and emotionally and spiritually right as rain, ready to dominate in Q1. So those are my five tips. What are you gonna do? I can't wait to see the comments. Let me know, and by the way, for a lot of you, thank you so much. The last you know, month or so, a lot of you have been sharing these videos and getting your friends to subscribe, so I appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed, absolutely do so. And I love the comments, both here on YouTube and on TomFerry.com. Let me know, by the way, what's one thing you do and you'd recommend to our community and our ecosystem that's always been successful for you in the fourth quarter. So share those comments below. Remember always your strategy matters, and now more than ever, what you do in the fourth quarter sets the tone for 2018, either being your best year ever or just another year. You decide. Hey, thanks so much for watching. We have a number of events coming up and we'd love to have you there. Visit tomferry.com forward slash events and reserve your spot today. No one can beat the crane. <laughs> hey, <do> <laughs> What's going on? that's it. That's all we need. <laughs> We're out. <laughs> um, all right.